Hello friends. Okay. <laughs> A few disclaimers to jump into while, like, as I start this video. So this is the Honey Bee Stamps fifth anniversary release. It was another big one. Tons of products. So much fun stuff. I've already posted a couple videos using some of the products. So this has been out for a minute. I was waiting for a package to arrive that had the pattern papers and the stencils and whatnot before filming because I like to include as much as I can. So disclaimers. One, I am not required to do these videos. Um, like, I won't. Companies don't request it of me and the random rare times uh, unknown to me company asked me to do something like that. Like, we'll send you this if you'll do a video. I say no. Um, I just do them because people like them. I like doing them. It just gets my brain going. Plus, I just like to show everything. I like to see it. Two, this was all sent to me. I have been on the Honey Bee design team for... I, I don't even remember how long. <laughs> it's been a while. Love their products. They send them to me. Again, even though they send them to me, I'm not required to do these types of videos. I just use what I love and all that stuff. But just wanted to get those disclaimers, you know, out of the way just for anyone who's not aware. Okay. Um, yeah, I have almost this entire reason. I think there's like one thing that I was actually missing, but I'll include graphics when I edit all of this stuff too, because obviously I haven't had a chance. <laughs> To make something with everything. In a perfect world, that would be great. But, my life. Anyway, fifth anniversary release. Tons, so many products. But let's, let's just jump into it. I'll get to the pattern papers in a minute, even though I'm like distracted. These just got here and I'm like, oh, rainbow. First off, we have the A2 surprise box card base. I will have to include some graphics to show what they look like assembled because I, this one I literally haven't even um, had a chance to like open the package or anything obviously. Separate the wafer dies, all that stuff. But it's a bigger, again, a bigger die set. They have it packaged this way which is nice. Kind of like that they're doing that instead of, you know, great big, I guess it would have been more like this, great big packages that are harder to ship. So I assume that's why they're doing it and I kind of like that, but yeah. So you got a bunch of dies to create one of those fun little surprise boxes, which I've bought several set die sets from other companies in the past and I still don't think I've made a single one. I'm almost, I'm almost positive I haven't even made a surprise box yet. How ridiculous am I? Anyway, so they have this one. So that's the first one. And then they came out with several frame, wafer die sets. That's the only thing I did before I sat down to film is I kind of organized everything into like categories. So I hope this makes everything a little more make sense. So we've got the frame wafer dies. We have polygon thin frames and just to kind of give you an idea of the sizes here is an A2 piece of cardstock that's stained. Uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. So we have the polygon one. The thing, the one thing I thought was really cool with this one is several of designers die cut it with multiple colors of cardstock and then they like pieced it all together and did entire backgrounds and stuff and it just, love it, love it. So there's the polygon. We have the square, which is huge. Just to give you an idea, this is, I think this is six inches. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half roughly. So nice big, size and these are all obviously one wafer die so it cuts all your frames so different than other ones that have been just individual frames so it just kind of depends on what you're going for so we got the square circle another great big like five, roughly five and a half inch diameter so huge there's a circle there's the a2 set so the largest one is exactly the size of an a2 card and then we have the A7, which I've already used. That's why I didn't bother die cutting all of those because I already have it. So like I said, it die cuts all the frames in one pass. So this one's A7, a lot larger. So a five by seven. And then you've got an entire plethora. I haven't bothered separating this because yeah, I'm just gonna keep it with the packaging for the next project. And that's what I would do with all the other ones. But I used these and I don't want to 
wrinkle all of these frames. I used these on the Galaxy background card that I had made like last week, something like that. But that was this. So yeah, you could do it like that, just use one frame like I did, or I really like the idea of like diving over multiples, of either glitter paper, multiple different colors of cardstock, and then alternating them. And then you've got an entire background and you would have multiples because if you die cut this say from like five different pieces you could do five card bases with one yeah ideas are rolling so that's all the new frame wafer dies we got those and then we have yeah florals of course so we have the farm fresh flowers set you've got three different options to kind of put your flowers into I like this how this glass one, there's a separate stem wafer die, so you can have the stems because you would see them through the glass. And then you have your flowers. There's sentiments that you can add to like the labels and whatnot. There is a coordinating wafer die set. And this one, yes, of course. This was the first card I made after this release really showed up. So love it. I just it's so pretty. So lovely, lovely set. Actually, let's put everything on the side, which is what I was doing. Put them face down. Okay, so there's that one. And another one we have is this in, in Full Bloom set. So this one, you've got a great big frame with the flowers and then a bunch of sentiments that you can use on the inside. There's a coordinating wafer die for this that die cuts the outline. And then there's the, I guess you call it the polygon sort of frame. So that's where those po other polygon images go so well with this. And you can die cut out the centerpiece so you could turn it into a shaker, which I thought was really fun. So I haven't had a chance to use this yet, but it's another one that was like obviously in the front. So we have that one. And then we have this fun floral vases wafer die set. So just a bunch of floral vases. So you can die cut them and then you can use it with the other set and add flowers or use die cut flowers which we'll get into in a second. So just a whole bunch to choose from. So we have that one, and then we have the spring bouquet wafer die set. So you have a watering can, a basket, and then a whole bunch of little floral images and leaves and whatnot. So you can just build flowers. Love, absolutely love. So you could use those with those vases instead, you know, all that sort of stuff. So with all that, and then we've got several new little like baby and mommy type sets which this is where the pattern paper is going to come in handy so and actually eh, eh, I'll get to that so we've got like new baby sets we have woodland babies it's really cute it's so cute so yeah and buildable sentiments I always say that with honeybee they are like the greatest with so many sets and like larger sentiments I love both, you know, I love tiny sentiments, I love large ones, but I like their buildable sentiments and there's always so many options. So you got cute little people. I like though with these, both of these, you could just use them as like anything, you know? Like the images don't have to be for like new baby cards or anything like that, but I love. So you got congratulations on your growing family, new arrival, adoption, you know, precious little man, precious little lady, whatever you want, welcome little one. Love it, love. Coordinating wafer die set, again, love, because it not only die cuts the little characters, but there's a ton of wafer dies for like most of the sentiments as well. I like wafer dies for sentiments. That's just me. So we got that. And then there's this one, which is Safari Babies. It's another just cute one. It's got cute little giraffes, little elephants, and then more buildable sentiments so we've got we are expecting so you could do announcements you're invited to a baby shower a little something for your sweet everything you know so there is twins which is kind of nice and then you can use like alphabet stamps if you want to you know build out that further you're going to be amazing parents you know lots of love is on the way love it coordinating with that set for the characters some of the sentiments all the hearts just a bunch of hearts in the set love that one and then we have this cute little one because of course honeybee stamps need to do bees so we have mommy to be two e's so yeah let's celebrate the mommy to be we're having a baby 
there's even one like you could use for Mother's Day. Thank you for being my mommy. So just from really cute a little pacifier. Wafer die set and then three coordinating dies for some of the larger sentiments. So is that one. Really cute. And then a standalone sentiment set. So there's just a baby set. So sweet baby, welcome, a baby, welcome little one. It's a boy, girl, etc. Our precious baby. You could use that for scrapbooking. So you got the set. And then there is the coordinating wafer die set that has the three layers. So you have the outer layer with the piercing detail, the layer, and then the word. And I'll have a graphic on the screen. So three wafer dies for all of that. So you can just kind of pick and choose how you want to create it. So love that. And then yes, they released pattern paper. This is the spring lullaby pattern paper. So I kind of included it with the baby selection because it was great for that, but it's also just, oh, it's fabulous paper. This is actually my first time flipping through these papers. Like I said, they just got here and oh, I love that plaid. I love the colors, like, Really soft colors, but also just really pretty. Ooh, that cloud one's fun too. Like these would just work for anything, but they obviously would work so nicely with baby cards. But yeah, really fabulous. Oh, I am just, Honeybee's knocking it out with the pattern papers and that just makes me so happy. <laughs> so we got those. And then we're getting into some, I call these kind of just standalones with this. Let's go, yeah, okay, so. Got just some random. So we have a buzz stamp set. So buzz, like buzzing by to say happy birthday. Buzz, um, buzz means, or like that's B talk for happy birthday. So you get a buzz, that's B talk, you know. And this will work with Honeybee has a bunch of B stamps and B wafer dies. So again, you can just build up. What's the buzz of it? <laughs> Also a wafer die set with the three layers for that. It's really cute. And then we have the B bold lowercase. There was a B bold uppercase. So now we have the lowercase letters and then some little like punctuation type pieces as well. So we got that one. And then actually this one I'm gonna put with the other. I'll get to that one. So then we have the friend set and wafer dies. Same idea, large word, and then a whole bunch of buildable sentiments. I use that on both of these cards. I use the just the wafer die for the friend here. And then with this card, I used all three layers and then the sentiments to build up with the sentiment set. So we have the friend. And then I had to laugh when these showed up because I had ordered from another company just before I realized these were part of the Honeybee release. So we have a whole bunch of basic stencil sets. So we have the oval spotlight, circle spotlight, rectangular spotlight, and square spotlight. All of these are stencils plus the masks included. So you have ovals in one, two, three, four, five sizes. These do have the etch lines as well to kind of center things up with the different layers and then they just keep going from there so yeah all the different layers with that and then same idea with the masks so you can do you know whatever techniques float your boat or just again spotlight that's become like really popular and it's so nice because we used to do it all the time, you know, you would just die cut a circle from masking paper and fiddle with it and, you know, tear it. So you can only use it once. So now we have these basic stencils. So oval, start a new pile here. And then we have the circle. So you have the largest. And again, there's etch lines kind of like etched into here to make it easier to center your circle. And then there's all of these you know, depending on the size, and then you have the masks as well. Again, just depending on what you want to do with them. So, just fun, fun. So oval, circle, then there's the rectangle, rectangle and square. 
stencil sets. Let's go those. And then they released another kind of double cover plate set. Like they're individual, but they're meant to work together. So we have the flower petal cover plate and then flower centers cover plate. The flower centers has just obviously die cuts the centers, but it provides the stitching detail, which will be slightly smaller than this. So you can layer them together. Haven't had a chance to die cut them, but I'll include the graphics. But it'll be the same idea as the heart one that had come up before. And you can see how the heart one, this will be similar to the flower petal, how it just die cuts. And then the layer that pierces, I have underneath, but with the neat thing with the flowers is it'll die cut the centers. So you can actually have three layers then. Instead of these, it was two. So I just thought that was kind of cool. So you have the wafer dies. There's also a stencil set. So this is the flower builder background stencils. So these would work with this, I'm sure as well but same sort of idea. There is the centers and then the actual flowers. So you could stencil on the color and then layer this on top of your cardstock and then stencil the centers. And again, there's actually etch lines in both of these. You guys, I'm almost positive won't be able to see that on camera, but there's etch lines. So if you wanted to center an A2 card, there's literal etch lines the exact size on both of these. Oh, I like that companies are doing this. This will make my life so much easier. So if you want to center, you know, an A2 card, because this is a six by six stencil, it's already done for you, which I love. Okay, so that was the Flower Builder Background Stencils. Fabulous. So got those. And then we're getting into, this one's been, I'm sure, very popular. We have the Farmhouse add-on honey cuts. So there's dies and a farmhouse stamp set. These go with the house builder that came out a while ago. So we have the original house builder wafer dies. I've done videos using the house builder. There's the Halloween, there's Christmas, there was the treat shop. There's so many. So these are meant to coordinate with that to create a farmhouse style, which is super fun. So Cute little stamp set with like the porch swing, hanging plants, all that sort of thing. And then you have a ton of wafer dies meant to coordinate with this, but also standalone pieces to add that definition to make it look like more of a farmhouse. So we've got that one. There is a stencil as well. The cool thing with the stencil was it has all these like basic shapes, but they're meant obviously to go to create. And they've not only like, I was talking about the etching. This actually has what they're for. So we have the porch beams columns. There's a flower pot, porch header, plant boxes or molding, window grid, porch rail, beams, window, door, porch steps, deck, porch foundation, porch rails. Thank you, Melissa, the owner of Honeybee for doing that. I like when things are just nicely labeled. It makes it so much easier, but like, oh, okay, okay. I also love that with the Honeybee packaging, they've made the base with the stencils darker because I, I personally keep my stencils in the packaging regardless, but with the ones that have lighter background, I need to eventually put in darker paper because then you can see it, you know, what the stencil is. So there's that. There's now also, and that's the one thing I didn't get, there's the Honeybee Barn Scene Builder Dies. So I'll include a graphic so you can build a barn. And that, like parts of that, it could also be a little bit interchangeable with the house and all that kind of stuff. So there's that. And then there's the Barn Builder Stencil and Mask set. So same idea. There's the stencils that coordinate with the wafer dies. You've got like the roof and hay and all that kind of stuff. Then the actual barn, which is massive. I assume, but don't quote me, but I kind of assume that the barn builder would be the same size as the stencil. So just again, to give you an idea, here's an 80 card. Like this is huge. Like this is a, I would say five and a half inch square, roughly. Roughly about a five and a half inch square. Cause here's five and a half inches across and the edge of the roof to the other edge is five and a half inches. So really fun. And then you've got the mask 
as well. So really fun. This would go really well with some of the other previously released um, like barn animals and that sort of thing. Like I did a video not too long ago using the chickens. <laughs> so this would have gone really well with that. So there's that. And then to kind of go with the barn theme, we have the Way to Goat stamp set. Uh, I feel so old. Someone called me that like a while ago. They were like, you're the goat. And I'm like, I don't understand why you're calling me that, you know. Goat, greatest of all time. So, you know, it was a teenager thing. And then as usual, us adults took it over. And I don't think teenagers even use that phrase anymore. Like, you're the goat. Because as always, we take it and we ruin it for them. So, eh, anyway. <laughs> Great big stamp set with all these fun little goats and then punny sentiments. So yeah, you goat to this. I've goat your back way to goat. You are the goat greatest of all time. You know, for those that d didn't get it like I did. Hey there, <laughs> kid. So yeah, there's also a little bunny and chick also included a little duck and some flowers, you know, just cute and a little pig. Coordinating wafer die set for all the characters as well as the sentiments. So just adorable. It's got that one. I'm kind of running out of space here. And then we have the fabulousness that is buffalo plaid. So we have the buffalo plaid background stamp, great big background stamp. I used that on this card. I just white heat embossed it and then blended over it. So there's the background stamp. There's also a wafer die that cuts in the exact same spot. So it would cut out the squares. So you could die cut and then you could stamp. Since this is clear, it'd be easy to line up over top to stamp that as well. And you would just get that extra dimension. So there's the wafer die. And then there's also a stencil set. So these three work kind of interchangeably together. They work on their own, but they also work, are meant to work together. So that's really fun. So instead of me doing the background and just one color. I could have stamped the background like in heat embossed it and then use the stencil. So we've got the clear, just the stripes. So I could do whatever color. You could also use the stencil and just stencil and like just line it up on those and do the checks if you want to call it. And then you could shift it and do the lined areas a different color. like. Fun. There's options. I like. Especially with things like plaid. I struggle. Like doing that sort of thing on my own. You know, there's people that'll like watercolor a plaid background and it sounds so easy because it's like you're just doing stripes. I can't do it. I've never been able to do it. It just looks like a hot mess and not in a good way. So those are really fun. Love those. And then we have these fun like space themed. Get all of these. Okay, so we have space themed things, space and robots, which I was really excited. Because of course, for little boys, masculine cards, anything. Girls that like robots, it's all awesome. Like, if you don't look, I think her last name is Gertz. I don't know how to pronounce it, Simone Gertz. She's the one that makes like useless robots. She's done a TED talk, she has an awesome YouTube channel. Love it. I love her like ridiculous robot inventions. So much fun. Anyway, build a bot stamp set. So you got all the pieces. You can build whatever robot you want, which is just fun. Coordinating wafer die set that will die cut all these pieces, which I love because it's just easier that way. So you can stamp and then assemble or oh, to do if you did up a bunch and just stamped and had them stamped and die cut, don't color and then let the kids assemble, you know, or leave it or do magnets. Ooh, back it with magnets. And then they could like build robots. That might be a project I have to do for my kids. <laughs> Love, really cute. So we got that one. The coordinating stamp set, great big old stamp set. So gear up. It's a whole bunch of buildable standalone sentiments. I'm nuts and bolts for you. Love you bots. Happy bot day. <laughs> you light up my life. You charge me up, HB to you, happy birthday to you. Gear up for a great birthday, I like you a bot. My heart beeps for you, cute. Thanks a bot, love it. There is a coordinating wafer die set for the sentiments, which I love. I like being able to stamp and die cut and then place it wherever I want. So there's that. And then we got the space themed, um, oh wait. There was also, this would go more with the 
with the robots. There's the in-gear set of two stencils. So you have the, the kind of centers and then the gears. So they just layer together perfectly to create a fun little background. Love it. So we've got that one. And then after robots, we've got space theme, which is super cute, like super cute. So we have this one, this is the Far Out Friends set. So you've got your little space people, little aliens, little planets and stars and all that sort of thing. I use the little stars on um, this card, just on the inside. Just ink them up and stamp them just as a cute little embellishment. So we've got this great big old set. Oh, and like your like alien tundra or planet tundra that you could stamp and then have your little characters standing on or floating above, you know. So we have that one. There's a coordinating sentiment set again for this one. So this is the stellar sentiments and you've got just a ton, a ton. So have an extraterrestrial day. <laughs> Happy birthday, your friendship is out of this world. Thank you, Earthling. Thank you, human. I totally spaced on your birthday. I would do that. Take us to your cake. Just cute. Little coordinating wafer die set that will die cut some of these sentiments. Always love. So that one. And then that kind of goes with it, but was it standalone? Is the good friends mini set. So good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. Thanks for always being there for me. This was the one that inspired this whole galaxy background card I'd done and I'd stamped it on the inside. So just a nice little set. So that one and then we have two stencil sets. So we have Twinkle Twinkle, the background stencil. This would work perfectly obviously with the space stuff, but this would also work with the baby theme or just anything because it's stars. So I like how it's a little like more whimsical and quirky just like the sets. You know, not perfect stars, if you know what I mean. So we've got that one. And then we have the To The Moon Scene Builder. So again, we have the stencil and then there's also the little masks included. So the pieces of like the spaceship, the, the ground, and then there's all the little pieces from the planets as well. So just depending on what you're creating. So you can create a whole background scene for your little characters and whatnot. So this is just, uh, I mean it when I say I need more hours in a day because the ideas are just rolling. So to the moon, scene builder, stencils and masks. And then the last part of this little series, we have the rocket ship card base. Again, I'll include a graphic so you can make a rocket ship. Oh, and I hadn't even opened this. A uh, shaped card, which is just the cutest thing ever. So cute. You can make a rocket ship card base, but you could also make like rocket ship. This would be cute if you did a bunch of them in like a banner, you know, for a birthday. That'd be really fun too. So this one is just A2 size. So this will fit, like the base will fit in an A2 sized envelope. And then there's a couple of pieces that can layer, but you can also use those to create the like fold or whatever but honestly I almost think what I would probably do to make this into an actual card die cut it twice and then maybe create the fold right there so it would open that way if that makes sense and then yeah you got your pieces to create you know your window etc it's just fun it's fun and cute I love it so that's a rocket ship card base and then last but certainly not least is the birthday theme products of which there's several it was honeybee's fifth birthday so of course they did birthday themed products and they're all super fun so we have the birthday stamp set same idea as all the other honeybee sets large word and then a whole bunch of buildable bits and pieces and then there's the birthday honey cuts and same idea word outline second outline with the piercing detail that you can layer together so we got that one and then we have party so same thing party word you're invited celebrate let's party you even have like rsvp when where info so that's really fun when we actually get to have birthday parties again but anyway we have the party honey cuts same 
word, outline, second outline, love. And then we have the balloon alphabet, literally. All the letters of the alphabet made into balloons, separate wafer dies for the strings. There's even little tiny balloons and little like deflated balloons that you can add. <laughs> so cute. So cute. So the word, and there's also numbers. So the balloon numbers. And I love that because you can always add, you know, whoever's birthday you're making it for. Add, the, the, add their age. This would also work really too for retirement cards. Like how many years they've been working, you know, that sort of thing. That would be fun. So yeah, how many years you've been together with someone for an anniversary card? Ideas. Ideas. So we got that one. And then we have the <laughs> Happy Bee Day set with all these cute little characters. So you can create a little scene, like an outdoor scene, because you have the stump with the cake. You have like branches, banners, and then everything's kind of orientated to like center around the cake. And then Happy Bee Day. Isn't that cute? I love it. Coordinated wafer die set for all of this. So you can just build that entire scene. It's got that one. And then we got this fun one. This is the balloon card borders. And again, I'll include the graphic. But the coolest thing with this is you've got the three balloon dies. And I've separated these because I was planning on getting a card made. So in three different sizes. And the fun thing is you can, this big one will fit across. And the minute you see it on a card, because when I first looked at it, I was like, what? But the minute you see it on a card base, it's like, oh, balloon. So this will fit across an A2 card either way. So you can like stick it however you want. And you could put a sentiment there if you want a string, a little sentiment, and your card is done. So you have different sizes depending on what you want to create. So just really fun. This one's just slightly smaller. So you did a layer. And then you have pieces that are like the bow and tails. And then these, I think these were highlights, these funny little ones that almost look like a stitch. But I think if you die cut them and stuck it on, it'd be like a highlight on the balloon. I'm almost positive that's what it was meant for. So that's the balloon card borders. And then we have the candle cover plate. So just birthday candles, all layered. People have done some amazing piecing, like doing different colors or like ink blending and that sort of thing. And I just, they, the Honeybee design team is amazing. They, oh, their cards are gorgeous. So I have that one, but there's also a way to do it with the birthday candle background stencil, which coordinates with the wafer die set. So you have the full stencil, which is the candles with the base of the candle, the wax and the flame. There's a stencil with just the base, so you could do those in one color. And then you could layer on top the stencils with the flames. So it makes it easy to get those different colors. So, and I'm pretty much positive that they will line up with the wafer die. So you could die cut and then layer and do that quick. And again, there's the etch lines on here. So you could center your A2 card base on these stencils and they will line up perfectly. I love it. I love it. I love the thought process with that. That makes me very happy. <laughs> so that's the birthday candle cover plate and candle. And then we have, of course, the pattern paper, which I'm not even joking. I saw the first sheet of this and I was like, it made me so happy. I ordered extra of this one. <laughs> of like this pack because it's just gorgeous. Look at that paper. I love it. Rainbow everything. Yes, please. This paper is just everything. So yeah, really bright and cheerful and everything. Confetti. So fun. How fun is that? So that's basically the release in a nutshell, I think. Everything party buzz. I'm pretty sure I showed everything. There was some gem stickers. Um, I'll link to them. Don't have them here to show you. So I will link, as always, to the entire release. I'll have it in the description box below. On my blog, which is always the very first link right below the videos that I post. It goes directly to my blog post, so you don't have to hunt around. In the blog post, I'll have picture links of everything so you can just see it all like at a glance without being overwhelmed with the ton of words. 
So I will have it all linked below and on my blog so you can check it out if you are interested. Um, stay tuned, I'll have more cards. Throughout the video in the upper right corner I did have links to random videos and then at the end I'll have a link to the couple videos I posted already showing the cards I made so if you missed it you can check them out if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing, thumbs up and commenting. I appreciate it so very much. I read all the comments I get. I always try to heart all the comments so that you guys know I've read them. I respond as much as I can. I just, I appreciate you guys. You're all the best. So I'll be back soon with more videos. Hope you're all staying safe and healthy and happy. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.